It seems desperation is forcing some Rohingya back onto the ocean for a long, dangerous journey to relative safety. For the first time in at least a year, a boat carrying Rohingya refugees entered Thai waters. Those on board were looking for supplies and shelter from bad weather, which were provided by people on the island of Lanta, off Thailand's west coast. They fled their homeland and had no food to eat. They were soaked by the rain all night. I knew they might be starving, so I rushed to cook food for them. The Thai government and Navy have a policy of pushing refugee boats back out to sea. In 2015, there was an exodus of Rohingya from Rakhine State in western Myanmar, with an estimated 25,000 people fleeing violence in squalid camps they were forced into. In the past, many became victims of human trafficking networks, prompting a crackdown by the Thai government. On this occasion, the refugees said they wanted to go further south to Malaysia and during their brief stop in Thailand, received help and sympathy from the community. At first they were afraid to eat our food. They were scared of the police and military. They worried about getting arrested and sent back to their country. Governments in the region will be worried that this may be the start of another influx of refugees, given the dire situation the Rohingya face in Myanmar and Bangladesh. If it is, it'll increase the pressure on the Myanmar government of Aung San Suu Kyi to find a sustainable solution. On Sunday, she addressed the nation to mark two years in office and spoke of the challenges facing her country. Not only Rakhine, which the world is focusing on right now, but also in the whole country. We also need to peacefully develop the country physically and mentally. Let's try hard with the strength of unity. The Rohingya aren't regarded as legal citizens in Myanmar, meaning they feel none of that unity. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.